is my topos. Government has set a target to align 18 pieces of legislation to the Constitution with the Interministerial Task Force on Alignments expected to have worked on the bills before the end of March next year. The adoption of the new constitution prompted the need to align the country's legislative framework with the Interministerial Task Force on the Alignments expected to work on 18 bills before the end of March next year. Speaking at a workshop in Nyanga, Director Legislative Drafting in the Attorney General's Office, Mr. Jameson Karatihua, revealed that the Interministerial Task Force is looking into the Security Sector Complaints Mechanism Bill, National Security Bill, and the the prisons amendment bill uh, have uh, uh, come up with uh, some uh, tentative dates is the interministerial task force uh, due to the schedule that we have of having to come up with the uh, about 18 bills by 31 march Mr. Mkaratikwa says the alignment of the devolution-related bills will also be part of the tight schedule to give further impetus to the implementation of developmental programs. We have uh, the um, devolution-related bills. And uh, in this area we have got for the traditional leaders, the provincial administration uh, amendment bill, we have uh, the urban uh, council amendment bill, uh, the... Um, Rural District uh, Council Amendment Bill. Zimbabwe Human Rights NGOs Forum Executive Director Musakika said alignment of the laws related to the security sector are part of the broader security sector reforms. This right, right shop essentially brings stakeholders from civil society, government and the security sector itself to try and workshop exactly what is supposed to be in this bill to the greater detail. The Interministerial Task Force on the Alignment of Laws to the Constitution was set up in 2015 to coordinate the process. Kenya Sifushe, ZBC News, Nyanga. And now in international news, voting has closed in the United States and all